What is good, you sexy bastards? Welcome back. It is SCG, and we have a brand new video for you today. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe and drop a like. Turn on the bell so you don't miss future uploads like this one. Now, if you also want to check out our merch shelf, you can click down below and get yourself some of that sexy SCG swag. And if you don't follow us yet on social media, you can find us anywhere at Stella Crew Gaming, and also check out our website at StellaCrewGaming.com. And with all that out of the way, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get it. Welcome back, you guys. Today's video, we are going to show you how to make a magic logo and gun belt slot for your female character. Now, I've already done this for the male character, and I've had a lot of people ask me to do it for the female. So first of all, I want to give a big shout out to Silent. You all know who she is by now for showing us earlier. She posted a video, I guess, late, late last night for her, early for us, um, on how to actually flip this vest into the gun belt component. So big shout out to her, as always. So what we're going to do is we're going to build up a couple outfits here. This is going to be using the two console glitch, aka Beth, and we're also going to be doing a transfer glitch. All right. So the gray and brown armor is what it actually gives us the gun belt, which we obviously have locked unless we've done the casino heist. So if we haven't done the casino heist like I haven't, I'm just going to put this one on above it, the beige. Um, then I'm going to go into the t-shirts and I'm going to put on the harsh souls uh, v-neck. All right, so we're gonna beige uh, striker vest and then the harsh soles. Now, don't pay attention to this part here because I actually put on the wrong pants. I'm used to going from female to male. So these spotted pants are actually not a merge component for the male, but we will change them later on in the video. But then the shoes, we are gonna put on the sneakers, the pink uh, high top sneakers. Now also do gloves, we're gonna do the light woodland tactical gloves. Now you can do this at the very end if you want, um, cause really all we need to do is merge our torso one and torso two, and then we could always add these components at the end. So our C1 outfit is done. Now for the C2 outfit, console two outfit, all we wanna do is we wanna go into the varsity jackets and we wanna put on the crew varsity jacket. So if we go into bomber jackets, crew varsity jacket, number 48 of 71. Now from here, we wanna go into the crew emblem and we wanna make sure we have the front and back crew emblem. Now the logos will actually transfer over and this is gonna give us the Navy racing suit logos. Now you could also do this with any of the, um, it will not work for the racing suits, but it will work for the biker suits just because the components um, will go from a racing suit to a biker suit on the female. So because they are a different drawable, uh, we cannot actually get the racing suit logos on the female. This is the only one we can get using this method. So this will give us the navy ones, all right? Now, I was also going to put on the Emerge necklace at this point because the IA badge will not actually transfer over because it is a different drawable between the male and female. Um, so you can kind of ignore what the background here is, what I'm doing right now, but you would put on the gold mag magnetic necklace if you were going to put on a Emerge component, uh, but you can also put the black scarf on, which I will do at the end, okay? But again, these parts are not very um, uh, particular at this moment. So we're going to put it back on our C1 outfit. We're going to make sure our parachute is set to classic where this is going to be our console one. We simply want to get our save in the bottom right hand corner once we put our parachute on. And just like every other Beth glitch, we're going to go ahead and apply our net, net cut. Uh, stuttering there, net cut. And then when we do get on the second console, we're going to go ahead and select the second console outfit, which was the one wearing the bomber jacket. All right, so again, once we get the save in the bottom right hand corner, we're gonna go back over to our console one. We're gonna reconnect our net cut and we're gonna simply just take the parachute off or reselect our console one outfit without the parachute. All right, so again, main components here you'd wanna pay attention to is the vest that is going to give us the vest that we want for the gun belt. So by doing this, we actually do not have a torso one on the console two outfit, so it reverts back to our draw our texture zero, which is the one that we want. So we can see it here now underneath the bomber jacket. 
Now, if we didn't care about logos, I could just put a merge component underneath, um, which is the smuggler tank top. But if we do, we're gonna do one more flip. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and save that one we just did. And then I simply wanna go over into the um, top section and I wanna put this Harsh Souls t-shirt back underneath it. And this is gonna be our new C1 outfit, okay? So I just saved it just to make sure if I made a mistake, it didn't actually go away, but the vessel stay. So all we need to do is change it to this t-shirt. And then for our console two outfit, we're just gonna have that bomber jacket again all by itself. So we're not gonna touch our console two outfit. It's gonna stay the exact same. Now, at this point, we're actually gonna merge it for this flip. So what we wanna do is we wanna go into tank tops and we wanna put the camo smuggler tank top. Now this is gonna be our merge component, okay? So once we've got that, we're gonna now change our parachute to the Israel bag. We're gonna go back to our new C1 outfit wearing that vest, which is the gun belt component with the Harsh Souls t-shirt. We're gonna force that save in the bottom right hand corner. We're gonna apply the neck cut, log into our console too. Now we simply wanna go ahead and select that bomber jacket once again. And we're gonna get the loading circle in the bottom right hand corner. And of course we'll go back to story. And then when we slide back over to our C1 console one, we're just gonna go ahead and remove that parachute or select that outfit to force the save. Now, at this point, when we do load in, we're gonna have the bomber jacket and merged with the top once again, but now we're gonna take it straight into Crooked Cop. We do not want to save it. Sadly, we have to do this twice because the classic parachute will not merge our torso too. So we have to do it once to flip the color of the vest, and then we're gonna do it a second time to actually merge the um, transfer component that we need, which is gonna be a merge component, which is the camo smuggler tank top. So once we've done that, we put these all together, obviously take it into Crooked Cop, we're gonna go our one to the right, one to the left, or vice versa. Now we can go ahead and save this as our merge. All right, so we're gonna wanna save this. Ideally, I think, you know, slot number 20 or number one is gonna make it easier for you. So when you do go back onto your female, it's always gonna be that last or first one. Now, I did go ahead and put the crew logo back on here, but it's actually not necessary because when we go in here to put the scarf on that I was telling you about to merge the accessories over, this is the Black Desert scarf, it actually takes away the logo. So even though you cannot see the logos from the bomber jacket, they will actually retain when we transfer them over. All right, now these are the pants that we wanna change into the blue continental pants under the fitted suit pants, all right? So these are the proper merge pants. So now at this point, I've got the merge pants, the merge shoes, the merge gloves, the merge tank top, the merge accessory, which is the scarf. And then the last thing I have is the vest, which is the gun belt component. So when we go ahead and save this into the slot that we want it in, we just want to from here, make sure we get a save and then we want to proceed to do whichever transfer glitch you're more comfortable with. So whether you're gonna be deleting your second character and doing the race method, or you're gonna be doing the frozen money method, or you're gonna be doing the Krampus method, whichever you prefer, I will leave a link down below to all of the methods down in the description. So if you're unfamiliar with them, I personally use the frozen money method because it is the quickest and easiest then you do not have to delete your character. All right, so now when I'm on my female, this is one outfit that I actually wanted to save. So I just came down here because it had the duffel bag to the mask shop and I saved it um, just so I did not lose this one because it does have my IA badge and my white armor. So from here, we do have the merge slot. So once I go to the left, you will see it merges the outfit I was wearing. It did transfer or change it to the gun belt because initially I just had the paramedic belt. It also merged over the IE badge because we had the scarf. And as you can see, the logo's copied over as well. So that is basically it. That is our magic slot. It'll give us logos, it'll give us the gun belt. Now, I wasn't sure on what the merge component was for the armor, but if you were to put that on, then obviously you can merge the armor as well. But that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe and drop a like. You can also become a channel member by clicking the little join at the bottom of the screen. And also check out our merch while you're down there. It'll take you to our Teespring store. Well, until the next one, this is your boy SCG, and I'm out.